Hey gang, it is September 22nd, 2017, and I'm off visiting family, and uh, I'm in the Northeast U.S., and I just want to show you, this is, this is where I grew up. This is where the junkyard was that my family had, and uh, if you look in the background, you'll see that the, the old tilt bed truck that we used to haul cars in here with, and uh, I drove that as a teenager and hauled plenty of cars with it. And as you can see, it's not really being used. I believe it still runs, but uh, it's not being used for anything. As I pan around here, you can just see there's a few odd cars left, but for the most part, everything is gone. Uh, there used to be cars here from the 40s, 50s, up into the 90s. And this is, where I, this is where I grew up. And uh, just thought I'd share some stuff with you. I wanted to show a video of uh, one particular car. And, you know, I, I think I've mentioned, or I may have mentioned, I don't know. My dad had this junkyard. And he started it by, um, he used to race, sorry, he used to race stock cars. Well, Studebakers on a local dirt track. And the... Uh, the, apparently they had weak rear axles and so he kept breaking axles on cars and he needed more parts so he just kept buying more Studebakers and um, eventually he just kept filling up the place and it became a junkyard and at one point there was about a thousand cars in here uh, again all kinds of different makes and models here's just some of them uh, this is an old dump truck and I think it's a Chevy yeah old Chevy and of course there's really not much left to it you know nothing to really save uh, this was an old Transtar Studebaker that was actually a tow truck it was a wrecker and you see it's got the light up there on a uh, A-pillar post it had dual lights up here on the front you know the red and the amber or whatever color that may have been at that time but this was a tow truck that my dad had used at some point. Uh, this is a 1940 Studebaker Commander, I believe. And here is a, I believe this is a 59 Lark convertible. And again, these things are gone. I mean, they're just shells of what they could be or should be. Um, here's an old Hawk. I'm not sure of the year of this one. But again, not much at all left to it. This is a Speedster, and they didn't make a whole lot of these, and uh, you know, it says Studebaker President on the deck lid, but this was actually a Speedster, and you can see up here on the side where it, it said partly speed there. Uh, these cars had really unique features, uh, had leather interior, and various other options. They had... Um, Normally had factory fog lights mounted down here, and what's left of that. But just a cool car. I think I want to say 55, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, beyond that, the really cool car that I want to show you and talk about is this Daytona over here, and I believe it is a 64. And I planned, hopefully, I can do a future video with my brother on this car. This car is rather unique. Um, if you look up, I think Flying Tomato is a reference where you look up Super Lark, you'll find, from what I've read, uh, the Granatelli brothers actually got with Studebaker and decided to build some supercars. And um, I, the, the idea was they were gonna take parts off of the shelves that they already had in stock. And so they started with like a Daytona here and you know this is a four-door car this is just a family car and they put in a big posi uh, twin ta twin traction rear axle um, they put in disc brakes power steering um, it had the uh, the Avanti R1 engine in it and if you know the history of these at all they had an R1 R2 and R3 
uh, various performance levels with superchargers and they put all this in a family car and uh, they went out and they just you know were just doing all kinds of crazy stuff with these cars well this is one of them and it's it's rare uh, this happens to be an R1 version which means it has the base model Avanti performance engine in it and um, inside it has bucket seats it's a four-door car with bucket seats and a floor shift and uh, if I remember correctly little things like the gauges uh, the gauge cluster actually lit up with red bulbs uh, if I remember right I know it was just different things that they did to set it off as a uh, more of a performance car so I've talked to my brother and we're hopefully we can find some time to get together and we want to get up here and um, well I'll show you one of the things you want to do <laughs> is cut the tree out that is growing behind the bumper that's right this tree is got this car anchored down and uh, anyway I want to cut that tree down get the hood open and fire this thing up and just show a little more about it and uh, what it is um, part of me has this delusional idea of taking all the good parts from this car finding a donor body and putting all that stuff into the donor and you know basically replicating one of these super larks um, I don't know if that'll ever happen but you know sometimes I have crazy ideas and I actually act on them uh, but this car is beyond repair we'll just say that it's falling apart and of course sitting next to it is another 55 I believe uh, commander or president but anyway that's that's one of the cars I wanted to show you I just thought it was really interesting but uh, yep this was a little play area that I spent all my youth in and it's all gone now well, I think there's another studio backer up here that's a two-door but uh, we used to ride four-wheelers and three-wheelers and go-karts and snowmobiles and tractors and all kinds of stuff we did up here as, as kids and uh, yep this looks like another I want to say 64 two-door post car I think they I think they made these in a hard top but I don't remember for sure uh, but again it's collapsing into the ground so sad to see them like this but that's that's your, you know that's just the way it is especially in the weather conditions up here in the north stuff just rots away but anyway that's a thought uh, it would just be it would be really neat to see that car back on the road or at least a copy of it um, I can't say it'll happen but it would be interesting to do um, it's a shame you know, stuff like that. People don't know the history of some of these cars. Studebaker was a great company, uh, made some great cars, and, you know, you can, they're still on the road today, a lot of them. Uh, of course, a lot of them are rotted into the ground, so, you know, that's just the way it goes. But, um, anyway, just thought that would be something cool to share with you, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So, um, thanks for watching.